Vita, can you tell us what it's been like, uh, first of all, being here in the fight bubble during COVID? Um, it's been nice. I've actually had some downtime to get some full rest. I'm just taking advantage of having to be in my room for, <laughs> for a couple of days of just resting, stretching, reading, just relaxing. So it hasn't been too bad. I've been making the best of it. And you're back in the main card. Uh, it's going to be live on CBS Sports Network this time. Tell us what that means to you as well. Oh, that means a lot to me. I'm honored to be on the main card. Um, seeing all the fights, when I saw the fight card, um, there's like 10 fights and we made it to the main card. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And we're the only girl fight too. So I'm really excited and honored to be on the main card and to be fighting on CBS Sports. That's, that's awesome. All right, we'll open this up to our media. Steve Jewin, go ahead. Vita, thanks for the time. Two questions from me. You used the word honored, and Des said the same thing when she talked about this fight. She said she was honored to be fighting you and to be fighting in Bellator. So what would a win over Dirty Des mean for you? Oh, it means a lot to me. Um, I'm coming off of a loss, so I'm definitely hungry and driven and um, excited for this fight. I definitely worked hard. Like I've had the best camp yet. I've, I've improved in so many different areas. So I, I know what I got to do on October 29th to get my hand raised. So I'm really looking forward to, to Thursday. And that was my other question actually was coming off a loss and coming off a couple of tough fights in general, Alondra, uh, and Vita, you, you fought Alimale as well for the title. So you've had two really tough fights. So how do you reset from that? Oh, you know, I just picked up the pieces. I'm like, well, what could I have done better? What did I do good? And then I was like, okay, I did certain things good. I did was doing really well, but what could I have done better? And so I definitely have improved since my last two fights. Cause you're right. They're really tough opponents. Um, I'm prepared for everything. I've I've worked hard in every area as far as on my weaknesses and on my strengths. So you'll definitely see a lot of different, same style, same aggression. I'd be lying to you if I said I'm not going to come out there being aggressive, but um, also being patient. I'm picking my shots, not rushing, not getting over jealous on certain things. Hi. Hello. You're in a very very deep, <clears throat> in a very deep flyweight division. Uh, how do you feel in this Bellator flyweight division? And where do you feel in the division winning this fight? Oh, it means a lot to me. Um, I am more than ready for this fight. I know what I'm capable of. I know I'm a tough fighter, a confident fighter, and a skilled fighter. So that right there, I know my own ability so i just got to go out there and do it and um getting a win on thursday night is going to be it's going to feel great it's going to feel amazing donna hey vita how's it going um, good how are you not too bad uh obviously you're coming off the back of of not the the best run do you feel like this fight is make or break for you in bellator no not at all not at all um, I feel like it only comes up from here. I'm, I, in the past for the previous question before this, um, I was just saying that I feel like I picked up the pieces. I'm, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is where I belong. And I deserve to be at the top with all the other girls in this division. So I don't feel like it's a, like a make or break. I know I deserve to be here. Uh, okay, and, and do you feel that you're in the best flyweight division in the world? Yes, I do. I do. I feel like we have a lot of good flyweight female fighters. We'll take a few more questions here. Santiago, go ahead. Hi, Fida. Greetings from Amsterdam. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I couldn't do any better. Thank you for asking. So I have one short question for you. You had a pretty impressive win over Denise Kielholtz. Um, and Denise has since gone 4-0. She openly talked to me. I spoke to her a couple of weeks ago. She openly talked to me wanting that rematch somewhere down the line. Would you be down for that as well? It, whatever Bellator wants. I, I, you know, one fight at a time. I focus on this fight. I get this win. And if Bellator wants me to have a rematch, whatever's going to get me to the top and get me to another title shot is what I want. Good luck on fight night. Thank you.
All right, our last question comes from the line of Giancarlo Alino. Go ahead, Giancarlo. Hi, Vita. Uh, you know, you're talking about picking up the pieces in your last couple of fights. Uh, who are some of the people maybe that you've worked with closely and uh, rebounding from this and try to get uh, the best out of your next performance? So we have amazing coaches at SBG Idaho, and I always am coachable with everybody, but this time I actually wanted to utilize all of my coaches. So um, Freddie Ortega is one of my main coaches, and Jesse Brock is one of my main coaches, but I also um, was wor am work well, was working with Coach Daniel after my last fight, and he's a boxing coach of just switching it up, of body shots, uppercuts, just other little things. And Matt May, um, he's also one of our coaches there of more of my tie clinching, my elbows. So I definitely added more coaches into this camp that would benefit me. All right, thank you so much for the time, Vita. Good luck the rest of the week. Thank you.